Hey guys, welcome back to the Ryan Cope channel. And today we're gonna to be doing a little bit different of a review. We have some Black Buffalo Wintergreen tobacco alternative. So this is a non-tobacco chew. Uh, I've never tried anything like this before. I'm used to just regular tobacco dip, but we're gonna give her a shot. Before we start this video, I did wanna show you guys what I got in the mail. Some brand new Ryan Cope stickers. So if anybody wants any of these, I'll probably give away one or two in this video. Shoot me a message in the comments and I'll send you one if you'd like. So let's get right into this black buffalo here. We'll crack it open. Not cracked yet. And we'll crack her open here. Well, that does not smell the best. It kind of looks like dip from here. Um, kind of looks more like mulch to me. Let me crack open a can here of Cope Wintergreen and show you. By the way, Copenhagen, don't sue me for them stickers. I'm not selling them. But as you can see, there's uh, this is a little bit drier here, the black buffalo than the Cope Wintergreen. Looks about the same consistency though. Um, so let's throw a chew in here of some black buffalo. You can grab it about the same as any other dip. Still doesn't smell that great. I'm kind of scared to. So while that's sitting in, I'm going to talk a little bit about the channel. I have a couple video ideas here coming up for the channel. One of them being installing my brand new B&M ratchet shifter from uh, B&M. It's going to be going in my Monte Carlo, and we'll be installing this pretty soon, just as soon as it warms up a little bit. Another video idea I had for this channel was talking about Redman changing her name to America's Best, and just a little bit on that topic. I did see that uh, they released an official statement on it, so I just want to kind of dive deep into it. I figured some people would want to see it. I know people are talking about it, so I'm going to end up doing a video on that. And a little bit about where this channel is going in the future. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more chewing videos, dipping videos, back to what I started with. And it's going to be a lot more car videos too, thrown in the mix every once in a while. So if you're into that, that'll be good for you. And if you're not, there's still the original content going on on the channel. But now back to this dip, this Black Buffalo Wintergreen. I actually want to look at the can here a little bit. It's a pretty basic uh, mock-up on the can. Black Buffalo, long cut, Wintergreen. Just a bowl on the front, Buffalo. Buffalo, what the fuck would I say, bull? Just a, you know, buffalo on the top, black buffalo. It just says tobacco alternative, uh, long cut. I don't believe they have pouches or any of that, uh, snuff, but long cut's not too bad here. I know there's a few other flavors also. There's, I think, peach uh, or mango or something. There's straight, I believe. I'm not sure what the other flavors were. I just picked this up. Actually, I was looking for the Levi Garrett new dip they came out with, and I couldn't find it, so this is what I ended up getting. Pick this up on a whim. I think it cost me three or four dollars here in PA. Um, so not terrible. It's about the same as a can of Copenhagen Wintergreen, my favorite, but not too bad. So now more about this dip. I mean, it's sold in my mouth almost like a regular just anything that I chew, Cope Wintergreen or anything. Um, it's holding the same. It's not really stringy. It's not, you know, falling apart in my mouth. It pretty much feels like the same thing. I mean, even I was as I was talking, I forgot this even was a you know a tobacco alternative. I thought I just had Cope Wintergreen in my mouth, just not the same flavor. But I don't think it's too bad. I mean, if you're trying to get off dipping, which I'm not doing yet, maybe eventually in the future. But I mean, it ain't too bad for what it is. It has a decent Wintergreen taste. It reminds me more like a mint almost, like a Cope Mint, Skull Mint, you know, any of them. Um, but I don't think it's too bad actually. There's no sting like a regular dip. You know, it's just kind of just sitting there. I mean. I remember when I first started chewing, there was always a, the stinging to it, but I mean, I don't think it's too bad for what it is. It's tobacco alternative, you know, it's just nicotine, um, and that's the worst thing you're going to get from this. You know, you're not going to get really mouth or throat cancer from it because it's not regular dip, but talk about also the packability here. See if it packs like a normal dip. I know some people are going to wonder about that. I mean, yeah, it packs, you know, normal. I don't know what this little thing is down here fucking wood chip or something honestly it ain't that bad i i was coming into this thinking this was going to be terrible but it's really not that bad i could definitely see me if i was trying to qu quit chewing i would definitely use this um i wish they that had a, a little bit more winter greeny like i said it is more like a mint to me but um it's not terrible and the good thing about this product is um i don't know if you can see it there it is made in the usa this isn't a foreign product to us um it's made in actually Chicago, Illinois, it seems like. Um, I know it's said on here, born in the Midwest, raised in the South, charge ahead. So, you know, it does have, uh, it's down South tobacco. And 
I mean, usually most tobacco I think is grown down south, if I remember correctly. But like I said, guys, you know, not terrible. It's actually a pretty good product, Black Buffalo. Um, like I said, I picked this up just on a whim and it, it's not terrible. I actually kind of like it. I might actually add this in if um, I ever was trying to quit dipping. And I believe it is the same size. I'm gonna check here, same size as a regular, yeah, it is. Same size as a regular chew can, dip can, sorry. But uh, same size, same, I believe it's the same ounces. Copenhagen here says it is 1.2 ounce, and this is also 1.2 ounce. So you're getting the same amount, and you know, you're not getting as much harmful chemicals, whatever they're putting in it nowadays, into your chew. I can't see me keeping this as a permanent product that it uses. I just love Copenhagen Wintergreen. That's been my main chew for since I've almost started chewing. So I can never see me keeping this as a permanent solution. Like I said, if you are trying to quit, I think this would be an amazing option for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to see any more dip reviews on anything like this, Black Buffalo Tobacco Alternatives, or if you want to see more Copenhagen flavors, um, you know, I think I did like cherry, I did mint. If you guys want to see like skull apple or anything like that, anything that you guys are looking to try and haven't got around to it yet, just let me know. I'll do any of them. And like I did say in the beginning, guys, for anyone who's been watching for a while, um, we do have Ryan Cope stickers. My dad actually pointed out I should have put YouTube at the bottom here, but it was late at night. I seen 20 for a dollar on Sticker Mule. I went for the Ryan Cope. I wasn't going to give them away. I just wanted to get them to get them, but I decided to film today, and I just they happened to come in the mail, so figured I'd show them off. If you guys want any, one or two, you know, leave a comment down below, and I'll send you guys one in the mail. I also want to talk about the spitability here. Um, it's just like any other dip almost. It's as you can see here. It's just any other dip. I mean, it's not like it's stringy. It's not sticking. You know, it's just coming out like a regular chew, just spit and go. But if you guys know anybody who's trying to quit, or you're trying to quit, I mean, I would definitely give this product a try. If you know anybody who's trying to quit, maybe send them this video, show them that you know other people have tried it and it's the same shit. Just no tobacco in it, and maybe they'll give it a try. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. This was a review on Black Buffalo Wintergreen Long Cut. It was really good. I have no problems with it. Um, if anybody else wants any different dip reviews, let me know. And I'll be sure to include them in the next video. For now, guys, I'll see you and have a good day.